are listening to an Atomic Broadcasting production. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the feature presentation. And remember, do your part, such as like, comment, rate, and don't forget to tell a friend to tune in for an Atomic Time. Now, where did we leave off? Ah, yes. Zephyr met with Uver and Neros to discuss the rumor of a coming threat to Joel's safety. At the library, Alward tried his psychic powers on Hamir's chalice, only to see Hamir at his father's murder. Alward snapped, and Hamir found himself trapped in Alward's psychic mindscape for a duel. Every conversation eventually leads back to cannibalism. I really hope you clicked play if right when you pick, said I love cannibalism. If I had to pick an ism, I'd probably go down the cannibalism route. What other isms are there? I mean, there's well, organisms. There is. <laughs> the ism song. Racism. <laughs> Let's not go down uh, that path. A giant song starts. There's <laughs> racism. <laughs> feminism. Well, racism, feminism. Totalitarianism. 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 Monism. Feudalism. <laughs> Capitalism. Australianism. Mortalism. Animism. Nihilism. Nihilism. Sadism. Ooh, yes. immaterialism. The doctrine that there is no material substance and it's all just a projection of your mind. Like Pathfinder. Whoa. Like or like Segway. a psychic We're duel. Playing. Let's just get into it today. <laughs> the game. I, I got this. The I sesh. got this. I got this, guys. I got this. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen. Add echo effect. Welcome, welcome to, to the, the show. show. We've We're gathered here together to, do this to watch two, two awkward, awkward friends who might hate each, each other. One man who has the father of another inside of him. <laughs> inside his head. Inside his head. <laughs> one man. One man haunted by the father of the other. The other confused by visions he was given by a chalice. By a cup. A cup, if you will. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, live from the Mindscape, a psychic duo! <laughs> Alright, Jordy, now it's your job to cut to the tavern. It's over to you, Jordy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mumbra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please never bring the Mumbra voice on here. I didn't mean to get into that. <laughs> you didn't. We just cut the, the two of them in the library just staring at each other. We're outside of the library. On outside the of the on library the staring at each other. A passerby might just see two figures just frozen staring straight ahead on the steps of the library. However, inside their minds, there seems to be a great deal more activity going on. As we saw the world falling away, the steps disappearing, just replaced with this blank white expanse. As Alward turns to face Hamir, his face filled with anger. And as we ended last session, Alward demanded a roll for initiative. Yeah. This is a psychic duel. Okay, so I need to pick my skill right now. Yeah, yes. so why not, while we're rolling, why don't you explain a bit? So, in this, in, in, in a duel situation, things shake up a little bit since it's going to be just two participants instead of a party and a monster or several monsters. And each participant will actually roll initiative each round. So there is the potential that someone could go back to back as they went last this previous round and then first on the second round. Participants can change which skill they're rolling for initiative to gain additional bonuses. All that being said, this is going to be a psychic duel, and everything is going to actually be happening within the mindscape of these two participants. Everything that will be occurring will be manifestations of their imagination or their willpower as they try to impose their own force of mind on the other. Gentlemen, what are your initiative roles? Uh, eight. <laughs> 24. <laughs> Big oofs. It appears that Hamir will be going first. What are we doing here, Howard? Is this really what you want to do? 
It's not my turn. I can't you talk. You can talk to me. It's okay. <laughs> We're in our minds. It happens at the a thought. That is true. You killed my father. I didn't want to. But you did. I know. And it haunts me every day. I have nothing more to say. I'm angry. You killed my father. I imagine you look like you're going to fight. Yeah. So I will act faster. I just didn't want to get like you're standing there. And I'm like, oh, we're out of your head. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just beat you to a pulp. All right. If this is what you want, I'm going to open with exploit vulnerability to give you a weakness to me. So I make an esoteric lore against your standard DC. You're a level three creature. So level three creature standard DC. Uh, it would actually be, I think, against my will DC. In this context, it's a standard DC of your level because of esoteric. Ah, 29. Thing. Critical success. Does he have any weaknesses <laughs> if or I was, immunities or anything like I that? If I was level 20, this would be a bad choice for me to do. I assume you don't have any. Um, no. So I really. will use personal antithesis. <laughs> so I'm getting my chains starting to flail. They look so much longer than they've ever been as they're like going off and... They flail around your father, picking up some of his essence. And then I'm going to hit you with it. <laughs> you told me you expect descriptive stuff. I just did. Okay. I just, that was descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> you, because this is, you're a um, psychic. Oh, okay. Me, I'm still using what I know. I'm still just a guy. <laughs> I'm just a guy. I, I'm just a man. <laughs> Talking to another man. In his head. In his head, trying to beat him to death. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... T-shirt. <laughs> I guess I'll just open with an attack. Do I need to do anything in regards to what I rolled for initiative? Uh, so you'll use Do your... I need to say what I did? So, your initiative... Ooh. Okay. So I can, I can play this in a fun way. I... I use my rational labyrinth and call up a foe's memory of being lost. Ooh. Block access to your mind with mathematical equations. Levy a requirement for legalistic precision. So I'm going to draw upon the memory of you as a child when you knew your dad wasn't coming back and you felt lost as a person. Yeah, just make me more angry. That's I'm not, fine. I, I'm playing this where I'm not as intentional about this. You're fine. It's okay. <laughs> And then, because uh, I used occultism, I used my esoteric lore to create a rational labyrinth that my chains, like, are flowing down the different paths in the labyrinth coming at you. So the the rational labyrinth is actually a defensive mm -hmm. maneuver. I know. Okay. But just it's still sure. cool to do it as part of the attack. Okay. Just making sure you I, knew that you weren't yes. using your reaction here. Right. Yeah. Okay. Pull up my weapon here. 28 to hit. That'll be against your will DC, since yeah, this is a psychic duel. That probably hit. Let's see if it was a crit. It was not a crit, but it did hit. Oh, okay. You have a better than eight. Yeah, I have, that makes I have sense. a nine will. Eight, I, all of mine are eight right now. You have nine. I was one off. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Ten damage. Oof. That hurt. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my reaction. Ooh. Wait. I would like to make something clear because I literally just noticed this and only says it once and it's easy to miss. Okay. If you use your reaction, you lose your psychic center and you have to recenter to be able to do another reaction later. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay. Just I making sure. Like, this is probably the best time to for me to use it. All right. So, also, resume. I'm a caster. So resume. Like, yeah. So, I'm going to use my reaction. <laughs> Resume. I'm going to use my reaction. Uh, and with how you described it, he's going to take two damage? Yes. Okay. Oh, what's that called? Um, it's called Iyer's Spear. But how I'm mm. imagining it is as your chains come and hit me, they sort of phase through me. And wherever I got hit, you would feel that on your back in the same location. Aha. Don't make this so hard. Just stop this now. You killed my father. We can talk about it. N I don't think so. the time to talk was a long I time ago. I tried to talk to you, you just could, now. You told me 
sooner been like, hey, maybe I was the instrumental to I his tried death. To before. You did not. I tried. You think this is easy for me? A seven. That, that, that uh, critically fails. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> uh, I am then going to cast something at you. Okay. What's your will save, DC? Uh, 18. Uh, do, does he need to know what I rolled beforehand, or does he, he have to, he to use, use his reaction? I don't believe he would know the results of your roll first. Okay. Oh, really? Trigger, your opponent uses a psychic manifestation against you. Oh, okay, cool. So do you want to use it now or no? No. Nah. Okay. Uh, I rolled an 18, so meets it, beats it. Okay. As um, a tiny little pebble from the sky starts to slowly fall, and it gets faster and faster, and as it gets faster, it expands rapidly, cool. crushing you Oof. for... Is this a cantrip? Yes. Why does it do so much damage? Because it's amped. Oh, you're amping it. 21 damage. Okay, I'm bloody. Uh, and then I'm going to refocus. Refocus? Recenter. Ah. Sorry, recenter. Oh, recenter. Recenter, okay. my bad. I forgot focus meant something. <laughs> I right. was like, okay, so Alward starts disassociating for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so do we just roll out this? I have to use the same initiative roll? Uh, or the same ability you, score? Yes, you have to yeah. use the same ability since you're not recentering, but change. you're going to do a new roll for this new round. 25. 22. <laughs> so it'll be back to Hamir for this round. Back to Hamir. I think I'm also bloodied if that it's, helps you. Oh, really? Yeah. 10 damage? Uh, I am too off of being bloody. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, my chains are coming at you again. Natural 20. Oh, okay. Gosh. What? Were you going to do your reaction? Yeah, it's a little late That's now. okay. Okay. What was it? It was. It doesn't matter now. Are you sure? <laughs> it's not going to stop a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> 14 damage plus 3 weakness. Ooh, that immediately so drops se- me. 17. At 14. All right. <laughs> so I am passed out. Sam, would you describe what that attack looks like? Yeah, so after that pebble hit me and I'm kind of barely being up. It's more of a boulder once it hit you. Well, yeah, as it grew and slammed on me, I looked up at your father and he kind of looked at me and looks at you and kind of looks away. And then coming out of my arms, like my hands like turn into the chains and just wrap around you until like you just can't, until everything goes dark. And then we break out of the mindscape. It fractures and chains and like rips apart. And as the white space around you falls away like so many shatters of broken glass, we just find the two of you again standing on the steps to the library. But now you're holding, you, Hamer, you're holding Alward's shoulder as he's beginning to slump to the ground unconscious. Oh, I'll pick him up. As a side note, I'm shocked you didn't like talk about how all of your ghosts were there more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I expected this. They were all around. It you did not really mention it. <laughs> I was waiting for a cool moment to like draw attention to it, and this went a lot faster than I was expecting. Yeah, no, they don't last long. <laughs> well, so we see me. I'm holding you as you're unconscious, and I'm surrounded still by the 13. And your father walks up and places his hand on your head in a loving manner. I'm unconscious. I know. <laughs> And then uh, I'm gonna take you back to your home. <laughs> I don't know where I live. I was there last night. How did you find it? Was he there? How long did you search? Yes. <laughs> yes. So wait, he shouldn't he have su- been suffering? <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> that would have changed a that few really things. That really would have. Um, I but. S- I slept until he noon. Slept oh, until that is noon. true. He did sleep until noon. <laughs> Why Never do you mind. I think I slept so late. 
<laughs> I'd only just woken up when I was playing my hour of my music. So you woke up at 11. Ish. Ish. Yes. He had plenty of time to comb the entire city. Yeah, the entire city. <laughs> I imagine I had at least kind of followed where you'd gone at one point. It's very creepy. Because I've been interested in that. Because your father was interested in that. Alward offers anyone an invitation. Hamir, hey, I'll find my own I didn't way. want to take it, but your father wanted me to find your house. <laughs> so as Hamir hey, is carrying unconscious Alward back towards his house... We return back to the inn. Just taking a little nap. <laughs> Does anyone else have a headache? <coughs> cricket, 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 cricket. So do you, you <laughs> believe that we should wait or let them in on this? Uh, they went to the library, yes. I believe so, yes. I mean, I was... I was gone for most of the time that they were debating on whether they should leave, and then they left shortly after I got there. Here. <coughs> he, Uver just kind of gives this big sigh, like, and, and takes a wistful look around the tavern and goes, Then I suppose that we should uh, probably go find him and speak with him about this. Would you say that it is uh, that we should do that, Neros? I mean, probably. If they want to be involved. You know, the whole town is at stake. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I believe know. that. I'm not saying that we shouldn't help them. We but could I'm just kick them out of the group and we could do this on our own. No, they're too. <laughs> too important to the story. <laughs> <laughs> they're part of the narrative. You can't get rid of them now. <laughs> Oh, it has left the party. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're? What if? What if they fight each other and they kill each other? You know. I mean, I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, it would be terrible would if be they awful. were out there fighting each other. I know. Uber, Hopefully, it's Uber not just kind of looking very like, because <clears throat> he knows. <laughs> I I do not Are think we? that they <laughs> would at the moment uh, do anything that rash. I mean, I would hope not. Boy. <laughs> they may end up coming back here, I, I have to say. So I don't know if we'd actually have to go out and... I mean, we could wait a few moments, hours... Days. Days, if we want to. A Would, month, um, even. A month, even. Well, I don't... I, you're not here. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. He says <laughs> to Hamir. Do, do not interfere with the story. I'm um, just coming for that mimosa. <laughs> I, I think that we could better a lot our time if we'd like to um, go out on the town and see if we can find any leads. I don't really know how to uh, find these. Usually people approach me with jobs. Uh, I don't think that we need to necessarily find... Well, we do need to find more information, but right now I think it'd be more important to find the rest of the party. Uh, yeah, I'm with him. So let us, uh, if we're going to do something, then let us just go. Well, and let me ask you this. I don't want this. to sit around if we're going to do something. Do you believe with, <laughs> with your heart? With your heart of hearts. <laughs> Among other things that may be inside of there, I don't know, <laughs> dwarfism, anatomy. Maybe there might be anatomy, a spleen. Maybe. Um, dwarfism anatomy. Maybe you have two hearts. I don't know. You could believe one with one and not no, no, no. He's a time th th lord? Th that's a different type of, uh, that's um, an elf, I think. A type of elf. Do you believe that it could be the cultists? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would not rule out the, the possibility. Um, from <laughs> what I have researched and quoting, or and remember from researching the Mad King, or at least from my notes as well from the books, would that be a conjecture of, I can see that Actually, no, I don't think I even need to ask you this <laughs> because it, it, I, I, I think is, he could very w well attribute what he knows what does and his nose and whatnot of what does that, feel? yeah, the cult, but judging by how they've already acted and where, who they supposedly serve would, could be behind that. Would you agree? Yeah, it's reasonable to think they could. I just didn't want to give the cross the impression that it's like, oh, this is clearly what's going on. Right, right. Okay. 
I do not know if it is the cult. It is possible. I, I, I will not rule it out, but it, it could be something entirely different. I don't know. Some calamity, uh, either man-made or, or, or otherwise, but I don't think we should rule them out as in that they could do this, but I really wish we could have uh, talked to this uh, Edward. I who's, don't who's think Edward? he would have... Ed, Edwin. Edwin. <laughs> what? Sorry. I don't think that Eric. he would have talked to us anyway. Well, <laughs> judging <laughs> by... Well, hang, on, uh, hang on, hang on. I don't think his name was Edward or Edwin. I think it was Eric. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Edwinson? Eric Eridson. Considering we cut off his hand and he didn't tell us anything further, I, I don't think he would have had anything else to tell us anyway. Yeah, that was a very interesting moment. I need to probably talk to... Uh, it, no, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, it, it is it is a moot point anyway, because uh, unfortunately he is dead, as you have said. Uh, um, Very directly, uh, yes. I, I think, first of all, let us just go and speak with the rest of the party, and perhaps together we could gain more information, at the, at the very least... Uh, Warren Howard and his family. Speaking of that, um, Neros, would you close your ears for just a moment? Or at Excuse least me, why? step over there and Ex- uh, maybe uh, order a drink. I why? Just a... Just a... Just, <laughs> just a... This doesn't guess. convince me. Uh, you stuttering does not convince me to leave. But it's N- Neros, if, if you would be so kind. Uh, just not make it difficult. I don't know what What's it is either. Happening. You know what? Fine, I'll just no. Uh, I'll, Nero's, Nero's, I'll go. Nero's, Nero's. No, I'll go. It's fine. I'll go order another mimosa. You two chat. I get up and leave. They stopped m- serving mimosas an hour ago. <laughs> I was going to tell her I had a disease. Um, <laughs> this is the final question I'm going to ask you about this helmet. Of course. I could smash it. You can't destroy it. How do you know that? Did you try? Yes. Uh, did you try to melt it? To destroy it. Did you scratch it? Did you did you bite it? Did you lick did you it? L- lick it? I will say, I will say that with objects such as these, they are not so easy to destroy by conventional means. Do you know anybody that has any insight for these types of things? I really want to do like a cutaway to establishing shot. So give me a second. We cut to the three of you knocking on the door of a narrow apartment building on the north side of town. It's a hard cut. Oh, in, in the background. <laughs> and you're carrying, just walking past the screen in the background. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a hard cut for narrative development. (laughs) (laughs) The nameplate on the door reads Sir Dyer Torin. C I R D I R E T O R Y N. Uver, you have worked with this elf several times on projects in the area before. Whenever you'd had an item of significance or interest, Uh, Sir Dyer is an antiquarian and amateur wizard, so you've shared many an interesting conversation over a cup of tea. Amateur. If there is anyone that could have more insight than what I found out, I think this man would be the the one to ask. I feel like you could have told us that on the way here instead of right in front of his door. It's almost like we didn't say anything on the way here. It, it it was a bit of a surprise myself. <coughs> you just you just happened to remember. <laughs> you hear some shuffling on the other side of the door and a voice, Kami! Kami! And then you hear all these bolts being undone. Now, Neros, I know that I asked you to follow us, but I do want to um, fill you in on a little something. We have this helmet. Do you remember that statue that made me... Cry? Weep like a man. <laughs> like a little baby. Like a man baby. <laughs> I mean, you are small. <laughs> uh, 
all of this whilst the lock, many, Take many one locks are on clicking. Damage. This man has a lot of locks, so I have a lot of time to talk. <laughs> would be, I would love it. They're still going. <laughs> all right. So, Almost there. Hamir, and I'm going to tell you this quickly because I believe he's entering the end of the door. Hamir took the helmet that was sitting at the base of the statue. Why would he do that? I, mean, I don't know, I'm, but he put it on... Uh, he, what? I'm pretty sure you both watched me take it. You were there with me. I didn't care at the time. I may not have been paying attention. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. He put it on Uver's head, and Uver <laughs> took it off his head. <laughs> he oh. said that bad okay. things happened. And I'm just filling you in on all this so that you know. Why would you do that? And uh, uh, yeah. Hamir gave it to me after we played slap hands. Why would he do that? <laughs> and he said that I need to give it to Al... Where... Where... Aaron. Alwood? <laughs> yes. None of this makes sense. I'm bad well, at right? names. Anyway, it's a magically enchanted thing, apparently. And I asked Uver if he knows... Um, anybody. And... So that's why we're here. Yes. I appreciate you following us without actually knowing what we were doing. Um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, the promise I was, of more I was shunned from the conversation. Turns out I needed to be there anyway. So <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> the promise of drinks w- is still on the table. Just, uh, just letting you I'll know. hold you to that. After the last couple locks are slid by, the door opens, and on the other side is an old-looking elf with just, like, springy, stringy, like, white hair on top of his head, and he's, like, in a plain green robe, and he's just like, who is... Ha! Uwe! Uh, Sir Dyer, once again, I am rather amazed that you know somebody's at your door without even knocking. I thought the opening oration of this hard cut scene established that you were knocking on the door. But that's my bad. And he starts heading in to close the door. Again. He, he said he knocked. He said he knocked. Did you? He yeah. said we opened at a hard cut to, to three. No, knocking with the three of us. Mm-hmm. Was it knocking? Actually, he said the three the of us knocking. So I'm assuming we're all, so all in three of us in the I had three people knocking, and I thought this must be important, but my old ears are deceiving me. Let Have me... a good day. <laughs> okay, no. Then. <laughs> expunge that statement from the record. I missed that. Never expunge. I'm I sorry. must say, I love, I, I love your hair. Ah, I loved my hair before it left me for a young... <laughs> anyway. For a younger elf. <laughs> That's what you get, that's what you get for it. animating uh, hair. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back. If you I love something, set it anymore. free. I promise I'll start showering more than once a week. No! <laughs> ah, left. Uwe, you never change. <laughs> I do hope that he does not uh, <laughs> whinny like this on a normal occasion. <laughs> More often than not, sadly. <laughs> Usually two teacups in. <laughs> what do you put in your tea? <laughs> oh, don't get me started. I'm worried Smith's going to die. <laughs> His face is red as a cherry. I don't know why I said that. Like a <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, but... Breathe, breathe, man, buddy, breathe. breathe. Deep breaths, oh my man. Oh my gosh. Inhale, exhale, <laughs> oxygen, brain, good. Stop talking. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. On a side note, look at these adorable pictures of my cat. That's so cute. That's adorable. Okay. It's <clears throat> a lot. Sir, Sir Dyer. I, I, I know it has been a while, but I was wondering if I could once again uh, have, have some help with, with some identifying a very interesting uh, artifact that we found. Oh, yes, of course. Do come in. Of course, of course. And he just walked in. He walks up to this staircase that's like this really narrow, very steep staircase that just like curves up the tower. And there's like a chair sitting like up against the wall. And he sits down in the chair and it like levitates <laughs> and starts floating up the staircase. One of these days, you have to tell me how you do this. And Magic, just, just... my boy! That's but yes, uh, uh, but the, the, the way it works is, is very... And it, the Uver is just walking up next to him talking, so... <laughs> you know, Uver, 
I yell from the bottom of the stairs. I don't know why you didn't bring it to this man first before putting it on your head. It, it, uh, it doesn't matter. And <laughs> He's one of the cultists. <laughs> Near us. It seems like you might be the last one through the door. Do you close it behind you? Sure. Thank you. Do you lock it up? <laughs> With its <What>? many locks? <laughs> <laughs> If you do, you're never getting into the conversation. She misses the whole roleplay session because she's locking the door. (laughs) (laughs) Just one of them in the most random place. No, no. The door closes and all the locks just start locking themselves. (laughs) I like that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So Nearest closes the door and looks at the locks, wondering if they're going to lock themselves, and they don't. And then she goes upstairs. I lock one lock. <laughs> okay, you lock one lock. And then that's it. Minimal effort. Minimal effort. Well, do you know her? <clears throat> At least you put an effort. <clears throat> We're it's up not even like a deadbolt. It's just one of those that prevent the door from opening all the way. Yes. The chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are breaking me. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken long enough. So the stairs are old, rickety wooden stairs, and they're covered with like a worn red carpet that goes up them. But it's well constructed, so even though it kind of moves around a bit, it holds firm. And you eventually make it to the top of the staircase, which takes you to what seems to be the third floor of this apartment building. And it just kind of pokes out from the rest of all of the rooftops into like a quintessential wizard's tower, which Uver, you know, he had commissioned when he moved here. Uh, anyway, my friend, as, as much as I wish to uh, catch up on some things, we are unfortunately in a bit of a hurry. Um, and he motions to uh, Zephyr. Oh, yes, of course. Um, would you like me to explain it, or or do you think you... Uh, I, I can explain it, but you hold it. I'm I not pull going to touch out it. the helmet, and I just kind of motion it towards uh, Sir Dyer. Uh, forgive me if I'm not going to uh, touch oh, this thing. So you've made progress then. I. <laughs> what? De- d- define progress. Well, you've been researching this arid fellow. Ah! <laughs> um, Uva, do you have any recollection of this? What my friend means to say is. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I imagine that's what this is related to. What, what, no, no, no. Uh, 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 have I seen? I visited you many times, but I, I have no recollection of uh, visiting you with uh, about him. Uh, it was just a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Uh, and, and. Did I? What did I bring to you? Ah, uh, uh, there was well, no particular items you were needing identified, but there was a map you were looking over, and you said something about heading off into the forest. <laughs> uh, what? What? What forest? Uh, the the Grungir forest. You know, the one that kills people, chews them up, and spits them out as ghostly apparitions. Sakrun Gear Forest. Why would you go there? He's a ghost. Sir, there. Two weeks ago, I left for the Krun Gear Forest. Is that what you're telling me? I believe that was the time. It's hard to keep the days straight when you're a retired antiquarian such as myself. But, 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 but. That, 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 that means that, uh, b- 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 that what happened it happened after the library oh yes the library so I came from the library to you with, yes with, with a map yes I don't have a map on my person do I I have the map you have a map that you found in the library right which presumably would not be the map he's talking about right what, what what do you remember any specifics about this map? Uh, I I know that is a weird question to ask since I'm the one that brought it to you, but 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 I I, I can't. There's, there's so much to explain, but please, do you remember anything about this map? 
Um, it was old. It was engraved on a plank of wood. Yes, 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 and... And and why? What did I say? To, what I wanted to go to the Gurungir Forest for? You were. Why are you asking me about what you did last time you were here? And look, because there. because sir, sir Dyer, I don't remember. I don't remember. The, the, I. I woke up in the Grungir Forest, but but a few days ago, and I have no memory of how I got there. The last thing I remember, I was in the library. I was in Joel, in a library in Joel. That is the last thing I remember. That is strange. So it's happening again, is it? What? <laughs> what, what do you mean it's happening again? Don't tell me you've forgotten forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I come to you forgetting something? Well, it just seems just about every time you come. No. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Some of the times that you come. And how many times have I visited you, Sir Dyer? Yeah. How many cups of tea have you drunk every time you've come? It's difficult to measure these things. O over the years. Yeah, dozens, easily. For dozens of years. No, dozens of times over the years. No, no, no. How many... How many years have I known you, Sir Dyer? Do I remember that? You know you've known him for at least 100. Gotcha. And I have periodically come forgetting what I did before. You've never been so upset about it as this time. It's because now I know. B because... But why was... Is it the same reason that I come for you, to you? Well, it's usually for my expertise with these artifacts. And do I always come from the library in the Coliseum? Oh, no, heavens no. Sometimes you come straight in from out of town. And it, has it always been about Eorid? No, that does have seem to have been your more recent uh, project that you've been working on. Then this isn't the first time. Uver, as much as I enjoy remembering that you're forgetting about what you forgot to remember, I'm getting tired of holding this helmet. Uh, on, on the table, if you could please, Sir Dyer. What, what can you... Uh, do? ascertain from this. Ah. I, I know the magic of it already. It is... Uh, ah, divination and I believe abjuration, it seems. Yes, yes. I, I figured that much out, but there is more aspects to it that I cannot uh, figure out. Ah, yes. Let me take a closer look here. And he begins examining it and he's like, Something about the design just does seem so familiar, wouldn't you say? He's just turning it over in his hands. Well, the craftsmanship is very clearly local. This mineral composition is only found here in these hills, so it was certainly made in this area. Uh, by a fine smith. Yes, he did know his craft indeed. Would be very hard to damage. He picks up a small hammer out of nowhere and just starts wailing on it. And it's just clang, 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 clang. I yes. knew I should have tried that. Yes. No damage whatsoever. Hmm. There does seem to be some form of enchantment on it, making it more susceptible. Not everything can withstand my hammer. And he tosses it over his shoulder and just shatters a vase on the other side of the room. But yes, there's something familiar about this design. I can't put my finger on it. I feel as though I've read about it somewhere and before. Hmm. I'll have to peruse my collection that I keep in the basement. You know, the one massive and terribly disorganized, I must admit. <laughs> You almost see the sinking <laughs> look on Uver's face recalling said collection. That I do not think we have the time for that. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't give him the helmet, he'll get killed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Oh, he has lots of locks. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> leave not it. A he has a window. You don't need locks. He almost just broke it with that hammer. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I tried putting it on. Oh, what would you do that for? I am. Well, I was about to do the same thing. It. it I, I understand, my friend. It. It is. It was extremely reckless. I don't. But I am desperate. Do you not? Do you understand? I've had things and more now taken from me. My the information that I I base my life upon. The answers that I try to find have are being siphoned away. Do you understand what that means to me? You of course. would understand. Last time you were here, you did seem to think you were close to finding that answer to the question that you've been seeking this whole time. But this this helmet, when I put it on, as reckless as it was, as it was, but I put it on and it reacted. It reacted to to these. It 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 set them afire. It set them ablaze, and, and and the pain was was horrible. But the feeling I got from it was not good. It was, it was evil. It was cursed. It seemed. Yes, I do get that same sort of just uh, unwholesome sensation from it myself. Do you mind if I make a uh, scientific suggestion? Ah, a man of science. Oh, yes, very scientific in things. I don't believe in the stuff. May I? Oh, (laughs) may I put it on? And then you said that it didn't affect Hamir, correct? Yes. Well, if I put it on and it doesn't affect me, then that means it must be tied to you. Uh, I, I do not recommend the haste, this hasty thing. I've already been burned by it. I, Quite I, literally. It does actually. seem like a possibility. Uwe, how attached are you to this fellow? <laughs> so, I'm the way right. you delivered that line, Petit, I got very much like, well, clearly you want me to drink the wine in front of me, so I can't drink that because you would have <laughs> noticed... <laughs> Inconceivable. Uwe, how attached are you to this fellow? He is a part of my party. Ah. Not expendable, then, I don't say. I don't count anyone that's a part of my party expendable. Not that I really try to have expendable party members. Well, if it only burns, I don't see a problem. I could take it off right after. Or you could take it off. or All three of you could take it off. You just see this mental... The, the, the look in Uwe's face as he's paddling back and forth out of desperate curiosity, but also knowing what that's led to so far. Believe me, my friend, I felt pain. <laughs> I do not worry about your uh, resistance to pain. I worry about your life. Well, if it didn't kill you, well, surely he'll be okay. There is the possibility that this helmet is siphoning energy from whoever puts it on, and it will only grow in strength with more attempts. Of course, there's also the possibility that it only affects dwarves. We, we really have no way of knowing. I mean, it could just also affect him because of his runes. Maybe that's how he got the runes in the first place. They may be scars. There's no way of knowing without... I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> He walks up, the guy's holding it, and he, Zephyr just walks up and puts his head in there. I do a little jump. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. The fact hey. that you roll it <laughs> makes me worried. The question that I had more was, or now that I'm thinking about it, is if, if I did do a little jump, did I go in and then just back out? Am I wearing it? I think you went in and then it came out of his hands. Um, I'll have him roll a reflex save to see if he can keep holding it or if it comes off you and you're wearing st- it. You just get stuck in it. So you're, oh, he's just holding you. He, uh, he drops it. <laughs> Considering how small my head is compared to my body, I assume that it's probably bigger than me. Yeah, it's like a kid wearing his dad's hat. Hmm. Nice. That's cute. I do I'm a little Zephyr. laugh. <laughs> Zephyr. I murder people. <laughs> 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 My theory is correct. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the one about it not affecting me. 
I bet it's tied to you. We'll need more data points. And he pulls the helmet off of you and holds it out towards Nero's. <laughs> it's for science, Nero's. You want me to put that thing on? Well, so far you have a 66% chance of it being safe. I don't have lice, I promise. I killed it all weeks ago. <laughs> you mean you do kill things? Yes. Um. Okay. Put on the helmet. I'm a I don't influence. like this. Nothing happens. I have a terrible influence. All right. Well, does that? I take it off and give it back to Seer Dyer. Ah. And what I is that? Sixty-eight percent. Be my turn now. <laughs> Well, before you put it on, can you tell us anything else? Oh, did you have more questions? Are you? Do you think I'm going to die if I put this on? Well, I don't know. You've only made it up to like sixty-seven percent risk of danger. Nobody's died so far, I guess. And he's he's stopped with the helmet just like inches from his head. (laughs) I I think we've had enough of this foolishness. I don't want to risk it anymore. You were the first one to put it on. Yeah. And it was a foolish action. Actually, no, Hamir was the first to put it on, I think. Actually, Hamir was the first one and both foolish actions. actions. Well, if you insist. And he puts the helmet back down on the table. Another thing we know about this helmet is that the cult. There is a cult after it. Don't tell him that. Uh, I, I trust him. He's gonna... Well, if he knows, he might die. Why, yes, I'm part of that cult. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stabs I... you in the back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you walked straight into my enchanted trap. That's why I left the door unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, somebody locked it. <laughs> okay, so you said there's a cult after it. Don't tell him that. Mm, you, you, I trust him. Oh, indeed. What sort of cult are they? Do they worship one of the outer gods? Is this like that one situation where you were down in Varicia? Uh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. This is... They want, to resur- they want to bring back the Mad King. They claim that he is still alive. The Mad King? Arid? Yes. Well... That is interesting. I can see why you're so focused on this helmet. I'm horrible with names, too, but if you remember, they have a family name. Are you talking about the cult? Yes. Eridson. Er Eridson, yes. Oh, that is a reasonable name. (laughs) Wait, 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 wait. My brain is thinking of something. Arid? Oh my god. Arid son. We've been oh. over this. That was established when we first heard the name. Son of Arid, Arid son. I'm I'm not dumb, I'm just slow. That's really I slow, mate. I'm glad that you were able to come to this conclusion. Oh. That's <laughs> really slow, mate. So what are your next steps? Would you like me to investigate the helmet myself or No, we'll be taking it with us. Oh, very, very reasonable. I've, I've seen it enough. I should be able to uh, peruse my library and see if I can find that book that was jogging my memory. I would suggest that you be careful. I know my library is disorganized, no, but it's not no, that, that bad. That's not what I mean, my friend. They both they come trying to take the helmet. Perhaps if they know that we came here that they might try to come after you. Oh, how, how would they know? Do they have someone following you? It's divination magic, my friend. Oh, good point. They may already know then. Well, they'll follow the last and place it was. Not, I am not afraid where that we not, might so. have brought danger to you. And I am sorry, but I am running out of choices. He leans forward and puts a hand on your shoulder. My friend, whatever danger you're in, I'll gladly share it with you. Did I leave that map with you? Oh, no, you took it with you. Did we make a copy? I believe you said you had made a copy already while you were researching. But, uh, yes, you wanted to take the original because you weren't sure if it would be necessary to get in. Get in what? That, I'm afraid you refused to tell me. You said that if I were to know, I would insist on following you, and you didn't want someone of my age doddering around in the forest... 
understandable, and he, like, wraps his cane on the chair. That is something that I would say. But I, now I wish that we at least, I at least left something. Perhaps I should leave something now. Is there nothing in your notes? I know you take meticulous notes. I was going to mention that. Remember the chicken scratch? No, no, that is, that is different. That, my notes, that would pertain to that time, yes? Yes. Second, somebody ripped them out of my book. And as they've ripped out the memories in my head, they are no longer there. They're not repressed. They're not uh, scrambled. They are gone. There are pieces of my memories that are gone. Indeed. So this would seem to be an intentional collusion. I, I don't know whether I was ambushed or if... I am an old man, but I am not without my own defenses. I don't know how this could have happened. Multiple times, apparently. Indeed. But uh, what he said earlier about the... We, we found a cavern. It was all the runes. The runes that match my mine. We found a, a cavern full of the runes and in different artifacts and what. In fact, that is where this uh, particular helmet comes from. But when I tried to transcribe the runes and write them down in my book, uh, I could not do so. I, I, it, it, it would not allow themselves to be transcribed. And it didn't matter if it was me or uh, another scholar that was with us, uh, Salazar. Do, do you know Salazar? Ah, uh, we've crossed paths. Also, Alwyn, Alward, Alward also uh, had issues. Uh, and another one of our party members, Alward, uh, a lovely chap, young man, growing. Has a family. I didn't mean to break you. I'm sorry. I love it because it's accurate, but it implies something that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it has a family in town. Uh, but uh, even they, when they tried to transcribe, if I looked at their notes, it, it, it was... Uh, uh, they described it as chicken scratch, but it was jumbled. It was nothing. Even I couldn't read it. I... Uh, <laughs> yes, and and when I looked at my notes later, because I thought I was transcribing them, I thought I was doing well and getting them. When I looked at my notes later, I could not understand what I was writing. So there is, there was something about that room, the, the runes, that would not allow themselves to be taken out of, of, of the cavern. Well, it does sound like you found your first good lead in a long while. Indeed, but I cannot do anything with it, and it seems, it seems that I need, again, I've come to the conclusion that I need to find the Mad King for some reason. Why? I don't know. Because, uh, as you said, this is not the first time that I have come to this conclusion. But what does he have to do with the, my question? What does he have to do? I don't, I don't know. There's nothing in my notes, nothing in my books. I, I I don't understand, my friend, what is happening. We should go back. Back to what? Back to the cavern with the with the runes, there with the statue, nothing. with the helmet. I don't think there is anything in that cavern that could help. I think I need to go back to the forest. But I don't know why or <laughs> what I was there in the first place. That is unfortunate. With you not having told me where you were going and your notes being extracted, at least there, there was that copy of the map that you'd left where you were doing your study. Were you able to find that? We, we did find the map. And... But... Well, I, I don't remember what was on it, honestly. I have it. Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, there is a place marked on it, a, a circle. But I don't know what is there. I, I think I need to find out again. But I can't go alone this time. No, I would suggest you take your friends. They seem 
capable and courageous. Yeah, I can. I don't know if I can ask them to do this. And I, he looks up at them. Because of what has happened to me, I don't wish it upon you. I, I give you the sternest glare and say, you have my bow. Uh, thank you, my friend. And Hamir's axe, most likely. I don't know about him. <laughs> I've got a sword you can take if you'd like it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not actually giving you my bow. I'm just no. saying you have my... I will come with you. I think that that sword would be better with you, my friend. Ah, it really is more of a decorative piece anyway. Along those lines, I would like to reach out the sentiment and say, if anyone does come a-knocking, as they say, feel free to let them know that we were here and we do still have the helmet because they know that. And we don't want you to be in any trouble. Mm. Tell them what they want. We won't tell you where we're going, but... We already did. <laughs> Not necessarily. I don't know where you're going. On another <laughs> note, my friend, and this is more pertinent to your safety as well. We have some information that some calamity might befall the city. Indeed. Yes. That too, yes. Um, about a month from now, I would either advise leaving or joining the fight. Mm. I've made my home here in this city, and I'll either fall with it or fall Starlet's demise. Uver kind of smiles and says, I would expect nothing less, my friend. I do wish you to be well, and if we can prevent this calamity, then we will. Of course. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? The date. What was the date of the calamity? Fifth of Desna. Fifth of Desna. Ah, I'll mark it on my calendar. Does that date have any significance? I could not think of something. Not to me. It's the second day after the full moon. The second day after the full moon. That, that that does not help. Do you have any of that tea I can take for the road? Always. And he hands you a cup of tea. And he's like, I'm afraid I'll need the tea cup back, though, so you'll have to carry it within your stomach. I thought you meant the cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, the tea. Just give them tea bags. Or you could do it the old fashioned way. You place a tea bag in your mouth and pour in <laughs> boiling water. And that is how we lost any listeners who are from the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. We'll get it right next time. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll um, drink this before we leave the door. That's just fine. You can set it on the side table by the door, and my unseen servant will collect it later. I don't see any servant. Good. Yes. <laughs> but it is... Uh, it's unseen, Sophia. I forgot you were there. I'm sorry. It's I didn't fine. see you. Um. Are you talking about Neros or me? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. I did have to leave for a second. It's, it's all right. Oh, Uver, while I'm remembering, I did have these worked up for you. And he hands you four scrolls. Hot diggity dog. I am afraid I don't remember these as well, my friend. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense if you don't remember our last meeting. You had asked me to inscribe a few spell scrolls for you, and they're finished. Oh, uh, thank you. And I take them. Which I'll make those flexible party loot you guys can decide what scrolls you want them to be they will be three first level and one second level nice mm. i think we will take our leave my friend we i we need to get to the rest of our party of course if you ever have any need of my expertise you know where to find me and i of course will reach out to you if i learn anything about this helmet yes and I should leave 
something to remind me in case I forget again what what happened. Could you write down something about our visit that we may both remember in case I forget? Of course. Uh, pulls out a quill, like <laughs> makes a quick note on his hand. I'll transcribe in more detail later. Of course. Until we meet again, my friend. Indeed. And he shakes your hand with the hand that he didn't write on. <laughs> it is time. We must go and find the rest. I'll catch up with you guys. Be right out. I trust you. Let's go. Of course. Who locked this door? <laughs> Sorry. Rattle, 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 rattle. <laughs> <laughs> well, was there something I can help you with, young lady? I just have a quick question. Do you deal with just antiques? Do you have anything to do with like history? Anything like that? Well, I am a scholar of many disciplines, okay. not science. Uh, I gather that. Um, do you have any knowledge of like wax seals or anything like that? I'm a bit of hobbyist in wax seals. Is there one you'd like me to examine? Yeah, yeah. She pulls out a letter. It has a wax seal on it and lets him look at it. Uh, may I? Yeah. He takes the letter and starts looking at it and looks at the wax seal, and he's like, from how far did this letter come? Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> um, ah, from Tian Sha. <laughs> no, I mean, I've had it my entire life, and I don't know its origin. Kind of come up here to see if I can find anything. It is a little odd. I've never seen the design on this seal before. Hmm. Except something about it does seem familiar somehow. If it's not too bold of me to say, you somehow seem familiar as well. I'm sorry, what? I know, that. I'm sorry, that does sound a little bit weird. I, I know we've never met before. But you, you, you just remind me of someone. Of someone? Uh, yes. Who, if you remember? A friend of Uwe's. Really? Who was this friend? Well, see, that's the funny thing. I can't remember the name. Oh, what? I'm going to strangle something. Follow me, Uwe. <laughs> strangle Uwe. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, you look upset. <clears throat> yeah, well, every time I've tried to find out anything about this, that's the answer I've gotten. Essentially, more or less. Well, that's, that is odd. Um, hmm. I shall have to think on that a moment. But you said it was a friend of Uva's? Yes. Okay. He hasn't spoken of her. Her? It, well, yes. She, you're the spitting image. <clears throat> but, uh, but what was that <laughs> name? Did you tell him your name? No. I'm going to cry. Did I tell you? Did I tell? I didn't tell him my name. I don't think either of the two he hasn't met introduced themselves. Um, does Nero sound familiar at all? No. No, there, there's nothing familiar about that name. Is that a name you're looking into? No, that's my name. Oh, so sorry. Uh, no, pleased it's fine. to meet you. I don't. I don't ha know my family name. That's sort of what I'm looking for. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's actually more than I've ever had. Um. Anyway, I've got to go. Um, but thank you. Of course. Of course. I, I will... Think on that. While I'm looking into this helmet fiasco, I'll yeah. see what more memories I can dredge up. Hopefully I'll think of something useful to you. Yeah, I hope I hope so. Uh, you have a good day. Uh, you as well. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. No, it's fine. 
Um, and I'm going to rush down the stairs. Are, are Zephyr and Uwe, are you guys outside? We would have waited you for you at the are, bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I rush down the stairs and I grab Uwe by like the collar and drag him out of the <laughs> apartment. But it's still locked. <laughs> <laughs> we unlocked it. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is this? What, no, to, no, what is wrong with don't you? Don't call me that. <laughs> It's not my name. First of all, second of all, Uwe, I've, I need to talk to you. Uh, of, of course, of course, but you don't have to be so violent about no, it. No, I, I kind of do. What is the matter, Neros? It, 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 it. What, what, what? So I take out the letter and I thrust it in his hands and I point at the wax seal. I'm like, have you seen this before? Do I? Should I actually describe yeah, this? Yeah, let's seal? describe it. Okay, so what you see is a black wax seal depicting a. Hang on. I should know this. A raven flying in front of a full moon. And like, you can see the urgency in her face. Uh, 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 let, Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Make a society check. Oh, boy. You know, for you. No, you don't have to do that. No, no, no. Sven. I, I will do it for you. You don't have to. I want to try. Do it. I'm this very late. Do it. Yeah, because this is less useful to me anyway. So, we'll give it one more. I used a hero point. Run <clears throat> and shoot is no longer in my thing. That was a good use of the hero point. 28. So, first off, as you're looking at the letter... It does seem familiar. And you're like kind of like looking over the symbol on it and you're like able to deduce just from your knowledge of things of like societal practices and stuff that it's like this is a wax seal of some noble house. And the first thing that pops into your mind is like I've never seen this seal before. I have no clue who this is. But then there's another side of you that's like yeah I kind of do. Like you have no idea what noble house this belongs to. But you know you've seen it before, but you can't pin where. And then when you look up at Neros to kind of answer, she, like, just for a flash of an instant, she seems kind of familiar, but not as Neros, as someone else. I do not know if I have the answer you seek, but... I don't know what house this this seal is from, but I feel like that I have seen it before, and 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 he looks up at you whenever that was described, and he says, "But you, as as well, seem uh, for a moment you seemed like someone else that I know. Someone else. Yes. I I I don't." I don't remember who, but, but in, uh, I, 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 I don't know if I can remember. Okay. Um, so she's been wearing a locket this entire time and she takes that locket off and she opens it and points to one of the, there's a painting inside of it depicting a, Woman and a man holding a baby? No? Just a woman. Just a woman and a man? They don't I couldn't, want their baby I couldn't, in the I picture. I couldn't remember. I'm sorry. Um, in the locket depicts a woman and a man, and the front of it kind of has the same imagery of the seal, just a little bit different. Um, and she points to the woman. It's like, huh? So as you look at the painting, Uver. The woman looks a lot like Neros, and it takes very little deductive emphasis to figure out this is clearly a painting of her mother. The man standing next to the woman is different. What The first thing you notice is, you know, they both appear to be fletchlings, but the man's face is completely missing. And that's where we'll end this episode. <laughs> Shaking. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
I can't write in my notes because I've been shaking so bad. This is stupid. <laughs> All right, Abby, what is this new hero point card you've received? Um, I chose Endure the Onslaught. Hey. Play at any time. Give a creature you can see resistance 5 to all damage until the start of your next turn. If you are 7th level or higher, the resistance is 10. And if you are 12th level or higher, the resistance is 15. Nice. So. <laughs> all right. Um, well, thank you for this. I appreciate it. And I'm going to go cry some more. <laughs> Oh, Maybe write down these notes if I stop shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you all in the next episode. This has been an Atomic Broadcasting production. Pathfinder, Galarian, and the Lost Omens world setting are copyright of Paizo. More information at paizo.com. Music in the show is from Monument Studios' collection, as well as assorted artists with some original tracks composed by Jordy Hake. More details in the description. If you enjoyed the show, please remember to share with a friend, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. You killed my father! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry, let me rephrase that. That sounded what? more nonchalant. Yeah? My father! Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. It was so long yeah, ago. You're right, yeah. I did. It's a two, yeah. I've already mourned this loss. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs>